In Broward County, and Nadine, there are protesters outside right now claiming voter fraud. At Lisa, these protesters have been here all weekend and they're back here today. Also here at the Supervisor of Elections Office, you could see barricades and then deputies keeping the peace outside while inside a judge ruled today that more security will be added to oversee the recount process. Two new machines are now in the mix, humming here in Broward County on day two of their recount. The goal? To get through the 700,000 ballots by Thursday. Employees working 12 on, 12 off to get it done. This while representatives from each of the candidates in the three tight statewide races and from the two main parties watch closely inside. All of this happening while across the county, the battle continued in court. An emergency hearing was held after Rick Scott filed lawsuits against Supervisor of Elections Brenda Snipes to get the machines impounded and seized by police when not in use. The relief that we are seeking isn't to intimidate counters, isn't to stop counting votes, but is to protect the integrity of the election. The judge ruling against Scott today, but in favor of an agreement between the Republican and Democrats to allow for more deputies to watch the recount. This afternoon, Bill Nelson then released this video calling for Scott to recuse himself from the recount, claiming he's misusing his powers as governor. He's worried when all the votes are counted, he'll lose the election. But it's also obvious that Scott cannot oversee this process in a fair and impartial way. And so we are expected to see this battle continue throughout the week as the recounts happen across the state. Governor Rick Scott and Senator Bill Nelson going head to head today, both of them filing lawsuits within the last 24 hours or so. At 5 o'clock, we'll look into that as the recount here in Broward County continues. Lisa, back to you.